Okay, this is Amelia W1712 with a faulty motor control circuit. The drum motor cannot be controlled and will only spin at full speed. The motor is controlled by an IGBT or insulated gate bipolar transistor. The easiest way to test the IGBT is to remove the control circuit board and measure the resistance between the outer two pins. In the normal uh, situation, it should be more than 0.5 mega ohms. Uh, this one read 0.7 ohms, less than 1 ohm, and was obviously shorted out. This is another circuit board that I've um, removed from another machine, obviously beyond repair due to corrosion and a hole in the CPU. Um, but the IGBT on this board is still healthy, so I'm going to use this for my repair job. The part can obviously be purchased online uh, for those who can wait. IGBTs are sensitive to heat and static electricity, so I'm using a desoldering vacuum pump to suck the solder out of the joints. So now that the solder is all out, that IGBT should come out quite easily. Don't lose this little heat transfer sheet. So the rest is pretty straightforward. Just insert the IGBT and make sure the soldering temperature doesn't exceed 270 degrees. We don't want to damage the component. Okay, so now very important, that insulating heat transfer sheet needs to go behind the IGBT so it doesn't come in contact with the, in direct contact with the metal. So then the clip goes over the top to give it a bit of pressure for heat transfer. And um, well, that's it. So a bit of cleaning up, make sure that we don't get any corrosion further down the track. And now we can put it to the test. Okay, to enter service mode, I close the door, I hold the start button down, turn the machine on, Release the start button three times and the third time I hold it down until the display shows ID number. By turning the dial, I forward the service menu to component test. I confirm that with the start button and dial forward to M5W1, which is drum motor in washing mode. It rotates clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Prior to the repair job, uh, the drum went into full spin speed in this mode. So it looks like uh, the repair was successful. Next I dial forward to bring it to spin speed. That is M5 and M8. So the pump runs and the, um, uh, the drum rotates clockwise uh, to the maximum RPMs. Finally I want to make sure that the machine doesn't come back uh, with yet another failed IGBT because a fault in the switch my power supply could cause the IGBT to fail again. So I'm going to test this now. I turn on the machine and I make sure nothing is operating other than the control board and it should now draw uh, no more than probably 0.08 um, amps, that's 80 milliamps. Anything more could indicate a problem with the converter chip in the, in the power supply on the control board. Thanks for watching.